Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here with me today. And today I have my very first boxy charm. I am so excited for this. I've been wanting this for like over a year. And I finally, in January, I signed up. I was put on a wait list and they took me off the wait list. And then I just got it on March 2nd, which is today. And this is a February box. That kind of irks me because they give you a FedEx code, like tracking. And it, there's no way it takes like over a week to get to my my place from Georgia. That's ridiculous. And then it ended up being delivered by the United States Postal Service anyway. So I, I don't understand if anyone knows anything how their shipping works tell me because it was kind of annoying um but yeah I got this box and I'm excited I know there's like unboxings of this out the wazoo everywhere but this is mine this is my very first one so of course I'm excited and want to document it and see what's going on it's this boxy charm you open it up it says, hello, Charmer, and hashtag BoxyCharm, and I open it up, and it looks like this, and I will dig out the contents and show you. And the first is a business card-like thing, extra glitter, extra shimmer, extra you, cover effects, cover effects extra, 20% off your next purchase. Purchase at CoverFX.com. Use code FXCharm at checkout. And it's only valid through the 15th. And U.S. residents only. Sorry, foreign people. There we go. And then next, it says Galaxy Glow. And on, hand, on the bottom, it says, like, Enter a chance to win an exclusive boxy charm box worth over four hundred dollars, and it gives you the steps to enter. And then on the back of the card, it gives you the name of the items and a description. So I'm just gonna pull them out. First is the crown brush set, and like everyone else said, and I thought as soon as I saw them, people get them. They look like the wet and wild ones, but let's see if they feel like them. Like, I'm not against brushes in a set. Brushes in boxes because you could always use them. But like, and I know it's private labels, blah, blah, blah. But I really don't care. Hold on, here's this. I don't have one like this. So, I'm very excited to have that. That would be good for highlight or anything real, really that you want to do. I also have this one. I like the notches in them. This is a smaller brush. It's not totally flat, so it can pick up stuff. And the next looks like an eye brush. Like maybe a flat, fluffy shader. I don't know. And it has the notch. Now, I have Wet n Wild one here to, that I can compare it to. Hold on. These two are Wet n Wild. This is the crown. These ones are dirty. This one has more of a, f f like, the edges tapered and cornered more. And this one's a kind of like a straight f flatter. This is a flatter, but it's short. So this might be a medium one. There's hairs coming out. But it'll be easy to use, I think. So we got those. Stay there. All right, and the the card says Crown Pro, uh, trail brush set, um, twenty nine ninety nine. 
Use this three-piece pro brush trio, trio to contour your face to perfection. The small brush can be used as a conceal imperfections and highlight underneath the eyes. The medium size brush can be used to sculpt the cheekbones and the perimeter of your face. Finally, the large powder brush can be used to set everything in place. Alright, next is this pencil liner from Vintage by Jessica Lebinsky. Or Lebinskin. Smoky Eye Pencil Jet Black. I don't have a use for this. And I don't know a lot of people that use this type of liner. Maybe I'll try it. Maybe I'll throw it in a giveaway. I don't know yet. I'm very unsure of things. Um, next thing I'm plucking out is... Um, wait, no, I gotta read the card for... Uh, Vintage Cosmetics Smoky Eye Pencil. Jessica's Richly Pigment Smoky Eye Pencil delivers intense jet black definition, creating pencil point precisions or smudgy saturated color. The creamy soft formula glides on lids without tugging or pulling. I like how they have ingredient lists on here too. I won't bore you with that. But $21 for that pencil seems like you're reaching. All right, next thing I have is the Pure Cosmetics, uh, the Complexion Authorita. And that is $17. X-Fox Lips Plumping Lip Exfoliator. With an instant boost of shea butter, raw sugar, and exfoliating beads, this 4-in-1 Rip Scrub Pencil, um, Lip scrub pencil exfoliates, plumps, hydrates, and smooths using the shea butter to soften the lips while the raw sugar and exfoliating beads are used to buff away the dead surface of cells and moisturizes the lips and softer and smoother and more plump. I can't do that right now because I'm already wearing, but I'll show you what it looks like. Just like a clear crayon. Uh... I will be trying it out because I do love me some lip, scrub lip scrubs and this is in a convenient form. Next, I'm picking up the Cover FX. Um, Cover FX Shimmer Veil, $28. These multi-use shimmering cream colors are crease-proof enough for the boldest eye looks and formulated with the weightless finish for a shimmering effect Anywhere on the, the face. Suitable for all skin types. And it comes in this box. And on the side. I can't. I can't read it because I don't have my glasses. Hold on. A perfection. A pearlescent cream. Perfect. Can be used anywhere you want. A veil of shimmer. This is. Unparalleled, buildable formula feels weightless, lasts all day, and won't crease or transfer. That's that's a lot of claims. And in the bottle, it looks pink to me. It looks pink. Or am I supposed to be doing this way? I'm no booty guru. And I will swatch it for you. And that's how it looks. Just straight out. And then if you kind of buff it with your finger, kind of, that's the effect you get. Kind of like a glitter. I. I'm going to try it. It seems fun. And the last thing is the big one. The big mama jama. And it is the Naked Highlight Palette. Naked Cosmetics. But it it's weird. Does anyone else... It feels like dirty. 
like someone was touching it real bad and it feels like dirt, sand, salt all over it. It's really gross and it worries me. But yeah, this is what I wanted. I really wanted it. I love the packaging. I th for some reason, it's shaped like this. But I thought it was shaped like this. I envisioned it. I don't know why. And this packaging feels sandy too. I don't know. It's weird. But here's the colors. Hopefully you can see them without being blinded. And I will swatch them for you. Peach. Yeah, you're not going to see those. You're definitely not going to see those. I wonder what it looks like with a friggin... I'll use one of the new brushes to see how the frick it works. I'm going to try the blue to see if that will come up. It picks up better on a brush. You can't see it because... Of the blind, let's turn out the light. No, you still won't be able to see it. But hopefully it works. Let's try some right here. See, it goes on the skin. I should not have done that. I am an idiot for doing that. I thought it wasn't going to show up or be pigmented, but no. Now I'm going to have to do another video with a blue forehead. I'll fix that up. I'm not getting over this. But I am happy with this. I'm going to get to try new things. I've really been wanting to try this box. And yeah. I am so happy to have it. Um, if you guys are interested in BoxyCharm. Tell me and I'll keep doing it. Oh, I'll probably keep doing it anyway because I enjoy unboxing things. Uh, but if you get it, if you have BoxyCharm, tell me what your favorite thing was this month. And I will see you in the next one.